Steve Parker Audiobooks presents a short story by Kylie Conrad. So, you think you're dating a werewolf. Now what? A simple four-step guide. If you're reading this, you probably suspect you or someone you know might be romantically involved with a werewolf. A lot of men can give off the werewolf vibe when, in fact, they are just regular men. This guide will help you know the signs to look for and give you some helpful tips on dating a part-time paranormal monster. Step 1. Know the signs. Many men out there will have you convinced that he's a werewolf. Their habits and behavior are utterly baffling and inexplicable to females' understanding, so it's no shock that some things our guys do raise the wolf flags. Here are the things ladies mistake the most to make them think he's secretly a werewolf. He gets restless or moody around the time of each full moon. He likes to eat his steaks rare. Has excessive body hair. Has a propensity to urinate outdoors. He likes to howl. He has a kinky biting fetish. He's overly fond of the woods and seems to like his pet dogs more than you. If you've witnessed your guy do any or all of these, congratulations! Your boyfriend is almost certainly not a werewolf. Below are the signs and behavior you should be on the lookout for if the dude is in fact a werewolf. Suffers from chronic halitosis caninea, commonly known as dog breath. Routinely loses his mobile phone, wallet and or keys in densely forested areas. Goes radio silent and is absent from his social media every time there is a full moon cycle. Has a remarkably keen sense of smell and or hearing. Has been caught more than once naked in public or has been arrested for indecent exposure early in the morning on one or more occasions. Goes out of his way to avoid touching your silver jewelry or cutlery. Always returns from camping or hiking trips reeking of a terrible stench. This will not be your typical guy funk. We're talking drunk a gallon of lighter fluid, slept in a back alley dumpster under a motel carpet and used the butt of a skunk for a pillow, burn the sheets and call an exorcist level of stink. If your man is guilty of five or more of these hallmarks, you may just have a werewolf on your hands and should proceed to step two. Step 2. Verify, don't vilify. Openness and honesty are crucial to every relationship, but just because he hasn't been forthcoming about his animal nature doesn't mean he's keeping it a secret or being deceitful. It's important to realize there's a possibility he himself is unaware of his ILD or involuntary lycanthropy disorder. Furthermore, if he's aware he's aware, <laughs> <laughs> His first instinct will be to hide it from everyone, not just you. Nothing sows the seeds of distrust like being accused of being a demonic cryptid, especially if you don't know you are one. Luckily, there are a couple of ways to get wolf confirmation, and you won't have to smelt bullets or travel to the Italian Alps to get it. The silver bullet method is simple. If you have access to an object with a high concentration of silver metal, Items may include jewellery, antique cutlery, or silver gel you swipe from your granny's medicine cabinet. It's best to conduct this test while your boyfriend is asleep, but be careful. If he is a werewolf, any contact with the silver on his skin will elicit an immediate burning reaction. You don't want to injure him, so keep a first aid kit handy, as each wolfman is unique and will have unique tolerances depending on the silver concentration. Disclaimer. Under no circumstances should you shoot your boyfriend with a silver bullet. This will kill him, assuming he's a werewolf, regardless if you're a good shot or not. This will more than likely kill a regular man too. I thought my boyfriend was a werewolf is not a defense that will hold up in court, but will get you 25 to life. If you don't have access to anything silver, you can try the wolf's bane method, which requires a bit more subterfuge. Now, I know what you're thinking. 
It's 2023, not 1723, and there's no way I can go to the Alps in this economy. Don't worry, it's closer than you think. And Wolfsbane is deadly to werewolves anyway, but you can use one of its flower cousins in the Ranunculaceae family, such as Buttercup Ranunculus, Clementis, or Marigolds, for example. You have to convince your fella to go to your local home improvement and garden center, however, preferably one with a large outdoor flower section. He will need to come into direct contact with the plant touching his skin if you're clever enough. You can do this without him noticing. The area touched by the plant will immediately phase into his wolf form for up to one and a half seconds, then return to normal. If there is an abundance of ranunculi flower varieties upon your arrival to said establishment, a wolfman will become disagreeable, irritable, and fidgety when in close vicinity of the garden section. A regular man may also display these symptoms upon entering a garden center, so this alone is not a definitive test. Now that you know you are dating a werewolf, your third step is to search your own heart and soul. Being a werewolf's girlfriend is not as glamorous as it seems, but if you are willing to accept there is no separating man from beast, there's no reason you can't have a loving and fulfilling were-human relationship. The main thing to keep in mind is he did not choose to be a werewolf. The wolf chose him. A kind, affectionate, and careful partner doesn't wolf shame their paranormal paramour. There is also no shame in stepping away if you're afraid or allergic to dog dander. Your last step is to proceed with utmost caution. As mentioned in step two, your guy may not realize he's a werewolf and you're certain to encounter resistance if he hasn't figured it out on his own yet. As with most incurable diagnoses, sufferers of ILD will go through a period of disbelief and denial before they accept their fate. Some will face depression and sometimes anger towards others who didn't get bitten. It is also best to approach him when it is not his time of the month or when he may be experiencing PMS or premonstral syndrome. Those with ILD who have a strong support system and a partner or loved ones with a reliable four-wheel drive vehicle equipped with GPS stand the best chance at not ripping everyone's delicious flesh from their bones or contracting distemper and bloodlust addiction. No woman wants to have to put down their boyfriend like old Yeller. Disclaimer, the first three lunar cycles post-infection are a werewolf's most dangerous and contagious. If you value your life and limb, you will stay away from your guy during the waxing, full and waning moons at this stage of his ILD. You will know by the color of his eyes as he begins to phase into the wolf at the beginning of a full moon cycle. Use this rhyme to help you remember. If his eyes are green, he's mean. If his eyes are red, you're dead. There are resources for you <laughs> and the medieval monster you love if you need help listed in the description of this audiobook. In conclusion, as with any dating dynamic, not just the supernatural ones, the keys to unlocking each other's hearts and the door to a good partnership or heartnership can be summoned up by compromise, compassion, consideration, and the occasional flea bath.